Lila Schneider, but most of the time people call me Stella, meaning stars in Lila. As a social worker responsible for raising a proper burial for those who died and yet have no relatives or friends to do this for them. I always feel we human beings are just like stars, going round and round in our orbits, alone in the darkness. And yet, inevitably, judge each other by certain gravitational forces, one way or another. Because of this peculiar work, I've seen things, incredible things. So, I'm a believer of what the great Eugenian Sophocles once said. The world is full of wonders, but nothing is more wonderful than men. Now, if you allow me, I would like to share with you some story I've heard and been part of, in which, if fortunate enough, we might find certain means for our lives. Thank you. You've been trying to confess your sin for the last six months. But you never did. I... <sighs> I'm sorry. You'd be sorry if you could never utter it before you died. Yes, I know. I am dying. Are you afraid of death, my son? Well, not really. Not even the tormenting fire in hell frightened you? Hell? <laughs> I believe I have seen hell. So, what's bothering you? A certain person I think I might meet in my afterlife. And, who was it? <sighs> my best friend, Francois Duval. Be very innocent. It's not an easy decision to make, you know. Since this party has never attended our service. I'm sorry, Reverend. We didn't want to bother you like this, but the Bureau of the Social Affairs think it's best way to bury the departed here next to his mother. Oh, yes. The lazy Madame Koda was a very devout believer of our church. If it were for her. Yes, Reverend. On behalf of both of your and the Hoda family, I thank you. Very well then. See you next Monday. Yes, next Monday. Excuse me, are you Miss O'Connor? Yes, and you are? I'm Donald Walk, priest of the Franciscan Church nearby. So, how may I help you? I'm here to ask you a favor. Please give Pierre Hotan the proper Catholic burial. What? I mean, why? Let me ask you a question. Pierre, while he was alive, did he come to this Baptist church over right? Well... In fact, he never came here. Not once. Am I right? Yes, but that doesn't mean... He had been going to our Franciscan church for the last six months of his life. Really? <laughs> May God send the light to the everlasting of hell. Oh, yes, of course. I met him about a year ago in the grocery store.
You didn't show up yesterday for mass. Father, we have been through this many times already. And my answer has always remained the same. I will not go to your church or any other goddamn church in this world. May God forgive you. But I'll never, never forgive him. What? Guess you can't be here. You are less than a man of me. And you are less than a man of all of me. You are less than a man of me. And you are less than a man of me. And you are less than a man of me. And you are less than a man of me. A fabriqué les hommes à feu et de l'âme. C'est pas lui qui laisse les choses se voir son nez par ses cigarettes. Et l'on lui a changé. Why are you even speaking French? I hate France. I hate being a French. I am an American. I wish you really were. But you are not. You are only a French chased by his own thing. Thank you, Miss O'Connor, for helping us by giving the law so his final piece. Not at all. It's only some people work. I hope you don't think it's very rude of us to deprive Pierre of the right to stay with his own mother. Again, not at all. Being married with one's family is not the right. It's only our culture that makes us take the right. Thank God. Pierre finally summoned up the courage to confess his sin. Do you think Pierre did the wrong thing at a battle of war? I'm not the one to judge, Miss O'Connor. He is, and he will forgive Pierre even if it was wrong. I see. Goodbye, Father. Stella, do you believe in God? Not really. I've never been to any church since I was eight. How about coming to our church this Sunday? I'm quite a preacher. I'm sure you are, Father, but I have other things to do. Thank you for inviting me. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Mr. Connor. May God bless you. Service. 